okay so now since we have some data to work with let's look at one more google uh, cloud service um, this service is called as the google bigquery it basically allows you to uh, you know query against your data just like using normal t sql queries and uh, i believe it uses the google um, dremel technology it's basically a public implementation of dremel uh, let's let's just deep dive into it and uh, look at a few examples so if you if you hit this url bigquery.cloud.google.com you will be taken to uh, the bigquery uh, service interface now in this interface basically you have a couple of uh, uh, data sets already for you a couple of tables already for you and uh, these are all sample uh, data you can just query with it so let's just look at one of the tables um, you know let's see at how to query a particular table how to get the data that we uh, want and then um, how does the processing happen so if you look at the wikipedia it, it shows you a schema of uh, the wikipedia data it has a couple of columns in it and um, if you click on query table it kind of gives you a text box over here or a text area over here in which you can just type in the query and it can return uh, results to you at very very um, you know fast rates so let me just run a very simple query select star from this um, before that i would like to also show you a couple of things if you see this data has 313 million rows and it's about 35 gb um, in space so if I run this query, you see that, um, you know, in about less than a second, you you, you get some results. So uh, essentially what we're going to do right now is kind of run some complex queries over it, uh, try to upload our own data set and try to query al uh, along with it. So <clears throat> let me just copy paste a query. So what I'm doing over here is, you know, just uh, trying to make a little bit complex query to um, qu query the Wikipedia database. So uh, here what I'm doing is I'm kind of doing a text search. Uh, I'm introducing the title contains speed and then um, there is a couple of um, count and then group by and order by. So it's relatively, uh, relatively a complex query as compared to the previous one. Uh, let's see how this works. Oops. Okay, for some reason it's showing zero bytes processed, but you know it should be a um, couple of uh, GB that is processed because it's 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 kind of scanning through the entire database. So uh, you see that, but you know within less than a second you you get the results, and and um, you know it allows us to actually query millions and millions of rows and just interact with your data using plain SQL queries. So um, this is the sample database. Uh, feel free to play around with this but um, we can go ahead and upload our own database or you know use our own csv that we just downloaded um, let me go ahead and create a new data set i'm going to call this data set as sightings let's see i have a couple of queries okay and i'm going to create a table over here i'm going to call this as patents And the next is basically it asks me what is the source data in like is it a csv file is it a json file and so on and so forth so it's a csv file and essentially if your csv file is greater than 10 mb um, you need to go through google cloud storage so we just uploaded our data into google cloud storage and we're going to use that same data so let me just go ahead and grab that url um, google Cloud. I don't remember the URL, but let's just see. Okay. Okay, so we have uploaded our data over here. So I'm going to just grab that URL and just paste it here. And we need to give the schema details so you know in in this case when we are uploading our own data we need to be kind of perfectly aware of the schema so let me just go ahead and um, 
look at this file it just has two columns in it one is sightings and one is uh, cited uh, it has the patent numbers for each of those between 1975 and 1999 um, so you see that both are just plain integers i'm going to use that same thing so let me say citing and this is how you kind of specify it you specify the column name followed by a colon and then the data type name and then next is cited and i'm going to say that that is also an integer so once this is done click on next you say submit and you see that you know it kind of processes the data so it takes about um you know a few minutes uh, depending upon your data size so um i'm going to just pause this video for a couple of minutes until the uploading is done okay so you know it has finished uh, processing the data now if we click on patents the table that we just created you see that you know this is the schema that we entered in we could get the details it's around 252 mb with around 16 million rows uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a couple of queries over this. So let's just run a basic query select star from this table and then let's just uh, see the first thousand rows. Okay, it, it actually processed the entire 252 MB and it's kind of returning me the first thousand rows. Um, you could of course, you know, download this as a CSV and use it in however you want. Let us um, kind of supply more uh, complex queries let's see how fast it returns the results for us so this is the second query what i'm doing is i'm just getting a count of all the sightings and i'm grouping it by cited and i'm limiting my results to a thousand rows see that in about seven seconds you you got this uh, you know this results and it's actually scanning through what 16 million rows or something that we just saw let's uh, look at two more queries um, you know slightly complex queries to just get a feel of um, you know how how easily we can query this data and how fast we get this get the results back so in this we are using a count of citing and then we are kind of introducing a condition saying that count of citing is greater than 15 so let's see you know how this performs okay again around 7.2 seconds let's scan through 252 mb of data and you know we we, we got the results back um let's look at one more query or no i don't have any more queries so uh, anyway so you saw that you know it's it's that easy to interact with your large data sets um you know generally your data sets scan from gigabytes to terabytes just upload that into your google cloud storage and then give a path to this and then interact with your data uh, just by using plain queries right so you really don't have to write map reduce jobs and deploy the jobs to hadoop environments and you know that kind of stuff uh, it gives you a very robust way to interact with your data and uh, the best thing is that it it actually returns the results uh, at extremely fast rates and you know if you if you look at the wikipedia database it's actually around 35 gb um, when we queried it it showed like you know zero bytes scanned or something but actually it's scanning around five to six gb of data and then returning the results under five seconds so that's uh, really amazing so this is what i wanted to show you as to what google provides us to interact with our um, big big query or big data there are of course other services like google app engine compute engine etc we won't be looking too much into it right now but what we'll do is we we'll look at what are the amazon services um, or amazon uh, what does amazon provide in order to kind of interact with big data we'll try to spin off a few machines um, um, try to use Hadoop, uh, try to run a couple of programs in it. We'll also have a look at if we were to install Hadoop locally, how would we do that and try to run a couple of uh, programs over it. So once the environments are set up, then other things are pretty simple to run Hive, Peg, and you know, all those things are pretty simple. 
um, you know it's it's it, the, the the setting up of environment is basically the only critical part that we have to take care and and that's why maybe you know in certain cases uh, the cloud services prove to be very very helpful as we really don't need to worry about how to set up a local environment and uh, so on and so forth thank you